In Warsaw, Indiana, Cardinal Services is giving artists of all abilities the chance to express themselves in the art world. Redbird Art Studio was uh, an, an, an endeavor to uh, give folks of all abilities more opportunity to explore their creative side. Uh, to allow them to express their feelings and uh, let us know what was going on with them. It is a fun, vibrant, um, exploratory, independent space that allows our artists to explore the arts. What I've experienced is uh, first art is a form of communication and it has helped people to be heard. Uh, it's helped them to express how they are feeling. It has also given them the opportunity to uh, connect with people uh, from across our community. Uh, not just other artists, but people who have just an interest in art. And so they've made new friends, new relationships because of that. And then lastly, it's helped a lot of folks to earn money. They're, we help them to sell their art and it gives them uh, money in their pocket to go do the things that they want to do. We have several places throughout the community. Um, we're always looking for art exhibits, art shows, boutiques, coffee shops. Um, if they will ask us and let us in, we will take the art and put it there. I think that it really um, encompasses everybody's talents. Um, it, there's some really, really exceptional artists and um, I think that it pulls in everybody's abilities. Um, they can do beadwork or sewing or um, they just can come in here and do whatever they want, which is amazing. For the artists that walk through these doors, artwork means more than the masterpiece they get at the end. It's kind of like my music. It's like a relaxer and it helps me focus on different things when I'm having a stressful day. I like to do more with art because it's calming. Letting my mind go wild <laughs> and um, being able to get my emotions out and um, people not judging me for it and in some cases actually winning stuff. And what a winner Amanda was when she claimed victory at a statewide art competition. I painted this just because I wanted to, and um, I didn't know it at the time, but Michelle had entered it in the uh, Hoosier Women Artist Competition, and um, I was totally not expecting it, but it won. <laughs> and I almost fainted when she told me. Before Amanda? This piece meant more to her than just a win. I'm going to start crying. Um, well, having a disability, I was always told, no, you can't go do this or do that. And having my own house is a dream of mine. And yeah, and that's what I would want my house to be like. I mean, house, shed, outhouse, lots of trees, pumpkin patch. Not only has the Rebber Art Studio given artists a chance to express themselves, but also a sense of pride and financial independence. I've sold uh, quite a few pieces already. It's been an amazing discovery. She, we didn't know, and she didn't know, I don't think, that she had any art abilities until uh, she came to Redbird and next thing we know she's having a having a uh, a display at Grace College and uh, now down to the to lieutenant governor's office so we're very proud honestly that was <laughs> one of the most exciting moments of my lifetime because I've never had something like that and it was awesome meeting the lieutenant governor and having a piece recognized by a bunch of people. I guess I'm still amazed because it's only been two years that I've known she's had these abilities. I'm just amazed at the, uh, I'm not that creative and to see her creativity and uh, 
most of her artwork has been more on the abstract side, but the piece that was chosen for the Lieutenant Governor's office uh, was not. It was more uh, recognizable, it wasn't abstract, and so to see the abilities and the breadth that she has has been really cool. I just like painting and stuff. I mean, from being here, I've learned so much more than I ever did in school or living at home. <laughs> and I've grown a lot by being here. And um, yeah. <laughs>